Alright, Balkan Gathering Day 2. After editing the first day's vlog, we went to the same restaurant again because the ribs were just too good not to taste them again. And then afterwards, we headed to the gym where the battles were about to start. Days of five, and you'll get three minutes at a time to just session and impress the judges. Top 16 are gonna move on to the 1v1 bracket. Primarily, we'll be looking on execution and of course the difficulty of the tricks, so power is what you could call it. And the secondary criteria will be creativity, showmanship and the volume of the tricks. Alright, let that music go, let's get it. Wave number one! If you're not aware how tricking battles work, these are the prelims. In the prelims, multiple people will face off against each other at the same time. They have three minutes to show off whatever they like and then the judges will give them a score. Based on that score, the best 16 people will move on to 1v1 battles. This was actually my first time competing at a major gathering and I was super nervous for some reason and the adrenaline just kicked in and I was feeling very weird. I couldn't tell if I had too much power or not enough. So I kind of played it safe and I messed up a couple of times, but still I'm very happy that I did it. It was a lot of fun and I'm sure it's gonna help me be less nervous the next time I compete. And yeah, I'm just gonna show you the highlights of these prelims and then we're gonna move on to the 1v1 battles. <laughs> Now you're about to witness one of the greatest aspects of tricking, which is the creativity and variety. Because there are no rules in tricking, you're allowed to do anything and a lot of people really take that to heart. You can look at two different trickers and you might think one of them is doing gymnastics and the other one is doing breakdancing and another one is doing martial arts. And technically you're correct. Tricking is just a mix of a whole bunch of different sports and there's so many ways to go down. It is awesome, but you're also about to witness one of the worst aspects of tricking. Unfortunately, there is an injury risk involved in a lot of tricking moves, but it happens, life goes on and everybody go wish Ash a quick recovery. Oh, so sketchy. Oh, that was horrible. How are you feeling? I'm doing great. <laughs> I'm chilling on the, on the floor at Bulgaria, Balkan tricking. In case you don't already know, this is Johan, one of the greatest trickers of all time. And this is him casually doing 30 corks. In case you're wondering, the world record is 33 and it's also set by him, of course. There was also a vertical jump and broad jump competition, which was really fun, and I really wanted to get to three meters toe to heel. What was that? It was like two centimeters off. What's that? Yeah. It's like 299.5. <laughs> I'll yeah. take it. I'll take yeah, it. Yeah, yeah, it's good. Are you guys ready for the first battle? Come on! I want to keep this video interesting for trickers and non-trickers, so I'm gonna have to be ruthless with this editing and cut out a lot of stuff. And I'll just keep in stuff like this, <laughs> like random fails, and of course, 
the best of the best, the creme de la creme. Look at this. Woo! So Ethan won third place against Fuju, and then it was time for the final. Kaige against Tiki.
Yeah, unfortunately Tiki also got low, low, low and hit the floor. But look at this combo from Kaige. Balkan gathering was just awesome. I saw some of the best tricking I have ever seen. Quad cork in a combo, Tiki's insane shuriken combo, Ethan's amazing performance against Fuju, and of course Fuju's incredible triple cork split combo. It was so amazing to witness all of this, but the best part about this gathering or about the sport is actually not about the tricks at all. I wish I could trick. So good. You think so? Yeah, we I'm just kicking it, man. We just kicking yeah, it. Wow. What the hell? Also watch it. It sounds so insane, but the best part about this sport that is literally ninja parkour breakdance gymnastics is the community. And it's not even close. There is just something special about this sport. I can't really describe it, but there is just this warm and welcoming feeling of community when you go to a tricking gathering. And as much as I hope that tricking will grow and flourish in the coming years, I do hope that it never loses its spirit. You want to tell the people how old you are? 36. 36. <laughs> what do you say to people who say they are too old for tricking? Don't stop, keep going. And beer. <laughs> and beer. <laughs> Can you tell me how tall you are? Uh, two meters. Two meters. No restrictions, no restrictions, only here. Yeah.